When I began preparing for this presentation, after a certain amount of uncertainty, I decided to put my bare feet on. Uh, when I do this, I am immediately situated into a place of knowing. I feel myself relax, emotionally and physically, uh, and the pathway seems more clearly defined before me, and I feel adventuresome and courageous if I need to be. Um, as I take steps on a pathway before myself, before me, all is well in this place of knowing and being. I would like to begin my presentation by talking about my names. Got to talk about myself a bit. And uh, so Fiola is an Icelandic name, and it is uh, the name of a flower that is found at the base of a mountain, and mountains in Iceland, and just a small uh, violet flower. Uh, there is a story about how I uh, came to be given this name, however, that's for another time. Hart is uh, a name from my uh, mother's side of the family, and it is English, meaning stag or a male deer. Uh, kind of like Bambi's father, you know how Bambi, <laughs> Bambi's dad looked, quite majestic anyway, that's, uh, that's Hart. <laughs> uh, Wasagisago is Cree, meaning clear sky, open sky, bright sky, clear day. My spiritual name means setting sun, where the colors are warm, warm pinks and browns. And uh, so as my names, all of my names, and I came to know this in um, preparing for this presentation, Ted, so thank you very much. As my names state, all of them, I am connected to the universe, to the land, to the water, to air, and to the sky. Because without air, water, and sunshine and land, uh, earth, uh, these plants and the deer would not survive. So I am connected to all creation. I am connected to the Creator. This connection has kept me strong throughout my life. In my early childhood, I have images, image memories of sitting on a blanket. There are a few, and I've just selected a couple to share with you. I have image memories of sitting on a blanket with my mother and brothers out in the backyard of my grandmother's house. She lived in the country. My mother showed me that some clover had four leaves instead of the usual three. I recall looking for four-leaf clovers with my mother. I never took up that practice by myself. It was only an activity that my mom and I seemed to, uh, to do and enjoy. Later on, <coughs> as a child, my mother, my brothers and I moved to the city. I'm the eldest in my family. The tree saved me during, the tree saved me during this particularly stressful time. When we moved from the country where I played in a big yard among trees with a river nearby. <laughs> Excuse me. Our new living space was small, very small, in comparison to this big house that my grandmother had. I was happy that there was a park a few streets away from our home. And uh, we lived on Barber Street, which is right in the center of the city and under the Disraeli Bridge or by the Disraeli Bridge. My brother and I happily played in the park among the trees and bushes. <laughs> and along the riverbank. My mom had no idea that we played so <laughs> close to the river. <laughs> I have never told her, never told her. We knew when it was time to go home because the angle of the sun and the warmth of its rays. So we had a sense that there was a time, oh, we better go now. And, uh, and uh, so we were always on time, it seemed. These play-filled times in the park and in any parks in the, in the following years have been grounding for me. Okay. There, were, uh, there are lots of other examples. Like, I grew up in the city in Winnipeg here. And uh, 
So the parks were very important. I used to go, my mom would make certain that we uh, traveled to my grandparents' place at Fisher River and at uh, Peguas. And uh, so we, uh, we spent our summer holidays, which was July and August, as well as, thank you, <laughs> as well as um, Christmas and Easter. So, and I am just so grateful for those times because it meant as a child that I had access to the outdoors and to be able to play. Um, so nature is very important to me. Uh, trees, it seems to be, especially recently, I did attend the celebration here uh, <laughs> and there was a, a concert at um, a church. I can't remember where the church is right now. It's Young United. Young United, yes. Well, the concert was wonderful. And I think my favorite song, there are lots of singing, my favorite song had to do with all these trees. All these trees were identified, they were named, and um, they looked beautiful. I never saw so many different trees before. I knew they were out there, but I had no idea what they looked like. And so the song involved naming each tree, and I thought, what a wonderful, wonderful way to acknowledge uh, trees. And um, I'm going to ask you a question, and, and if you'd like to do it as homework, you're welcome to do so. <laughs> I am a teacher after all. <laughs> Never leave some of that. And that is, have you touched a tree lately? And uh, just think about it. And I would ask you to touch a tree. And, uh, and if you dare, and if there's nobody around, and uh, you have some <laughs> privacy, I would even suggest hugging a tree. And uh, because all, everything, everything has energy. And uh, if we pay attention, I think one may be able to feel it. And so stones, we talk about stones and rocks, uh, they have energy too. And um, so um, I would ask you to uh, consider doing that. When I pray, I seem to be able to pray better, make connections better when I'm outside. The place outside doesn't have to be big as long as there's some grass and some trees. And if I'm out, like at Sandy Soto Spiritual Center, well, I just think I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can just feel myself uh, relax. And so I pray a lot. It seems to just come easily, more easily. I wanted to say too that when I'm in making those connections, that I am more, I think, more me, the calm me. <laughs> Excuse me. I am the more connected me. And, um, and then I feel as though, although I may not look like it right now, I feel as though then I can handle things better. It's difficult right now because I'm sharing with you things that I don't usually share with people. And um, so, uh, so it seems then that that connection is very important to me. I would even say that it's spiritual and, um, and that it, I need to be in those places <laughs> in order to be able to um, do my work, relate to my family, relate to friends, and um, so um, I would like to thank you, Ted, for asking me to be here and to do this presentation. So um, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have later. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.